The understanding of sex and gender differences is critical for understanding health and disease, including both preventive factors um, and treatment interventions. Uh, there's a lot of discussion right now on individualized or personalized medicine. And one of the main differences that generally is not pointed out is the difference in the X and Y chromosome. The Mayo Clinic Specialized Center of Research Excellence on Sex Differences, or Mayo Clinic SCORE, um, focuses on interdisciplinary research to better understand sex and gender influences on health and disease. Mayo is uniquely positioned to really pursue this line of research because it allows us to go from discovery science to translational research to clinical application. We have this very tight-knit community of scientists and clinicians that work incredibly well together. They're tightly integrated and everyone has the common vision of the needs of the patient coming first. One of the main focuses um, right now of our score is to understand the effects of the removal of ovaries prior to menopause on long-term health and disease. We initially uh, saw a link between ophorectomy and the endocrinological changes related to that with a number of diseases. But then we designed a second study where we took an independent group of women and we followed them again with the same design to see what happened when you look at all of the diseases together. And we took 18 major diseases, which are called chronic conditions, and we gave uh, women a score of one point per each disease. And we were able to show that women that had the ophorectomy, compared to women of the same age without the ophorectomy, had a steeper, faster increase in the score. This suggests that women who don't have adequate estrogen have an acceleration of the aging process. My research focuses on neuroimaging and we have found so far that there are certain changes in the brain in those women who had their ovaries removed early in life. Uh, for example, the hippocampus, which is the region of the brain that's involved with memory function, seems to show neurodegenerative changes in these women at an earlier age than uh, when we look at women who do not have uh, their ovaries removed. Our basic science study parallels that uh, research that is going on in the clinic currently. So we're studying cellular senescence as a driver, a mechanistic driver of uh, inflammation in the brain. We've identified that there is an increased abundance of senescent cells in, in females, uh, we think at the onset of cognitive decline, at least in mice, and we're trying to study the way in which these, these cells may uh, drive deleterious effects or adverse effects in the brain ultimately leading to cognitive decline. Using animal models allows us to really understand more of the mechanisms. So for example, we don't know if the removal of ovaries affects all tissues or if it has more of an effect on one tissue versus another. So for example, does it affect the heart more than the kidney? Does it affect the brain more than the muscles? And so using the animal models allow us to look at all tissues in the body and, and really answer that question. Sex is also an important factor in MS risk and progression. Um, women are diagnosed with MS at least three times more than men. And in our research, we currently focus on the reproductive history and sex and gender differences in MS through epidemiological methods. Uh, we are collecting data on age at menarche, number of pregnancies, age at menopause, uh, the type of menopause, having natural versus surgically induced menopause, as well as the timing of menopause. We are also going to collect data on hormonal use, especially the postmenopausal hormone replacement therapies. So all of these interactions about um, reproductive history, especially about pregnancy and, and menopause, may help un us understand how they impact um, the disease course in MS. There is so much research that is needed to understand sex and gender differences. So, it, you know, for so long, historically, um, many diseases have focused more on men and then have transferred this knowledge to women. And now we understand that there are differences, both in the prevalence of the disease, but also in the ways that uh, women and men develop diseases, as well as how they're, they're treated in the clinic and how they interact with healthcare providers. One of the political influences that is actually hindering the science right now 
is the confusion of sex and gender. Sex is biological, defined by our sex chromosomes and our hormones. Gender is a psychosocial construct of how we interact with each other. We shouldn't confuse the two. The Mayo Clinic score also serves as a vital hub for education and promotes best practices for both clinic and research purposes. There is so little known about the differences in regulatory mechanisms between males and females that almost any area that is open to exploration is a niche for young scientists to begin their careers.